all right in this video we are going to talk about tails now tails is an operating system that's portable and you can use it to protect against surveillance and censorship now tails operating system helps you to avoid surveillance censorship advertising and viruses many a times you need a system which is isolated from the rest of the internet this internet that we are going to access is sometimes or often called the dark web so your secure computer anywhere so tails can convert your simple usb drive to a secure computer that you can use and put it in any computer and use that as a, your secure device we have a free software that we can use uh, it's called tails and this is your digital security toolbox it includes a different applications to work on sensitive documents and uh, communicate securely and everything in tails is ready to use and has safe defaults now how tail works if you go here you can see that it works and it leaves no trace on the computer so whenever you start an instance of trace every instance is started as a fresh instance so to use tails i can shut down right now uh, my computer and stick your usb tail stick and uh, use it in safe mode turn uh, on the safe mode while going to the safe mode you can use this usb to load your or boot your machine now tails is just a 1.5 gb downloaded downloadable file it takes about half an hour to install on your usb we need a usb of 8 gb minimum and it works on most computers less than 10 years old and it's amazing so how to install tails uh it depends on which system you're working on i'm working on windows system so i can go to windows system here and uh, you need a usb stick which will be used only for tails because once you once you boot that usb stick with tails then that is not usable for other purposes we need a 8 gb minimum uh G minimum size of usb stick we need windows 7 or later we need 2 gb of ram to make that uh, stick loadable we can use a smartphone and uh, we need about half an hour to install and 1.5 gb to download so the first step is to go ahead and download tails then to verify your download then download rufus which will load the iso file iso tails file that will be downloaded then we need to install tails using rufus then restart uh, on your tails usb stick so you stick the usb here on your laptop and you restart and boot using the usb stick and then you have a new interface a new os that will help you to be distant from the normal internet that you have so if you go ahead here this is the file 1.5 gb file you can download this using uh, this link here then we need to verify this download so select your download to verify and see if there is any corruption or not if there is if the file is corrupted we need to download it again uh, go through the alternate sources using BitTorrent here then the next step is to download rufus you can download rufus that will help you load your iso file so the rufus like looks like this so you can uh, select the iso file which is downloaded uh, which is the main installation file so we select this iso file and then we click on uh, start here so when you click on start here this uh, the progress will show that rufus is installing tails on your usb stick so once you have that you have that secured usb device and you can use it at any point of time to convert any machine of your choice whether it's uh, mac os or it's linux or windows uh, to make it your own little safe secure private system to work on so this is the benefits of tails now if you face an issue please let me know in the comment section and uh, i will show you a complete demo so in the later videos maybe you can go through different browsers and different things that you can do with the browsing uh, that you get from tails because tails use uh, the onion architecture it has three uh, connections sequentially so it, it's really difficult to track um, your activity so having said that please use that carefully um, and be responsible for that but again this was just 
some interesting things that I wanted to share with you. Uh, please watch the next video and I will see you next time.